We're mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. KTDD, Riverside, San Bernardino. Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Yo, what up? This is Sand Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet. All day long, all day strong, you heard? Yes, we are live in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. You know, Eternal, I'm excited we have a, a show. It's going to be a real, real tight show. Yes. We got some good good guests on, man. Fantastic guests, uh, Coach B. Uh, one of our, you know, um, I don't know about you, man, but I, I know when I was coming up, one of my shows uh, that I watched religiously, I think that kind of changed the dynamic for me, was uh, In Living Color. I don't right, know, you, right. You remember that? I'm you can like, do what you want to do. On, you know, in the dance. In Living Color. Lord, Lord mercy. It took me back to a very unique place, you know. Uh, but, yeah, we have um, uh, a very special guest on today. We're going to be uh, talking to a rising star uh, in the comedy era. Is going to be performing here locally uh, soon, right, Coach B? Correct. So she is uh, Shantae Wayans. She is the niece uh, of Marlon, Damon, Keenan, uh, Sean. Keenan and them. Keenan, yes. And then, um, she is the uh, the niece of them. I mean, how how could you imagine if if like say we do sports talk and you could just right. call up Stuart Scott and that's your uncle and be like, you know, Unc, I I need help. How, how do I do this? Right. You know. Well, I'm I'm more. I want to know about the Thanksgiving. You know, uh-huh. like when you know when they over there when they you know when they cutting the turkey kind of deal. I know that has to be something unique. But uh, well, you, you know, know Keenan gets the biggest piece. Keenan's like, I kind of created this Wayans family. But see, but see, you know, we think that, but there may be a story. Of, did you see Hollywood Shuffle? I did see that. There you go. So, no said. Well, 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 hold on a second. Do you know who, who did Hollywood Shuffle? Keenan and Damon, they were they were a part of that. And 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 our yeah. guy, uh, I forget his name, but Keenan Keenan was a, a, a key writer. What I, what's our guy? I can't even think of his Robert name. Townsend. Robert Townsend right. said it. Robert Townsend said it. it was, that was Keenan. Well, you well, know, he, he Keenan was, was one of the main guys that helped write it. Guarantee. We will ask. We'll ask Shantae when. I'm sure. And I'm sure she. And well, and you know what? Well, she wasn't. She wasn't born. That came around. But we'll see. So, we can ask. Right, right, right. And you know, one of the most memorable scenes in that movie. Pass me my activator. Oh, but curl. curl. I was <laughs> about to say if you don't activator. say if you don't say it was Jerry curl. I'm about to say you know you don't you, you, that do the Jerry. Yeah, and Winky Jerry. Dinky Dog. Oh, that was. A classic. And you know I know we got a lot of millennials that watch us. <laughs> Google it. Google yes. it. Hollywood Shop was probably Guaranteed one of the, one of the funniest the movies. In the, it's it's in the Blazing Saddle let me category. Let tell you something. I don't care what's going on. If that movie was to come on right yes. now, it stop dropping yes. rolls. Like hold on, what are we yes. doing? You know what I mean? used to sneak to watch it because stuff in there I shouldn't be watching. Oh yeah, Guaranteed. You know, but, yeah, but it's legit. It is the movie. Uh, yeah, but I'm uh, really excited about that. I've actually got, I had the chance to meet her. We did some more at Sam Manuel prior, so uh-huh. excited uh, to have her on. You didn't have the name drop, but it's okay. Yeah, you know how we do. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Um, You're trying to be Mr. Celebrity. It's okay. C- city slicking. Yeah. Um, we have Miss Mendoza's, uh Leslie is in the house today. There you go. Excited about that. Greg Hollis uh, is on the board, as always. Punch is here. Uh, we have some uh, some other special guests in, uh, here yes. in studio. Coach B, tell me about that, man. I love it because I think both of these coaches were with us when we were in the broom closet in San Bernardino. We always say that. Right. Uh, there was, you know, IE Sportsnet is five years old. Our first two years we spent on uh, another station in San Bernardino. We, we It was a great start for us. We, we call that our minor leagues. But now we're on the major leagues at Fox Sports. Uh, Coach Care, Ganesha High School is coming back. I think this is about his third or fourth year coming in. Uh, and then Coach Price, who is a friend of the show, but he uh, he was at uh, he was at uh, Carter. He was at Carter, and now he's made the move coming over to baseline. I mean, think about this: he goes from Citrus Belt, right, which is 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 one of it's the, probably one of the oldest leagues in state, right, um, and one of the toughest leagues. You got Rev, you got your Kaipa, you got Redlands, um, you got Carter, and then he decides to come over to the baseball, uh, the, the baseball, the baseline league, right, right, so, which is which is a a, a major uh, transition, obviously. So. Excited to have those gentlemen in here. Uh, football is right upon us. Today, right. uh, actually, it's been a lot of stuff happening today. I was sitting there thinking I was going to go right back home after this. I I will not be able to do that. Uh, RCC's having, uh, we're, you know, obviously we are the official uh, voice for RCC. Of the Tiger. Uh, oh, you know, I was supposed to, you know, speaking of that, you know, I was supposed to call my man today. Come on, man. I was supposed to call my man. You know, uh, the voice of Riverside. The right. Go, the golden voice of Riverside. Right. Uh-huh. Mr. Mr. Pepper uh-huh. uh, did, you know, he and I have been uh, conversing uh, over social media and we're excited about, uh, you know, working with him again. But yeah, but they're going to. We need him to, to call our game. 
the uh, the Riverside Sheriff's no, Association. Believe me when I tell you, he and I have been speaking. He's like 110 with it. I think, you know, um, uh, but anyway, yeah, we're excited about that. Today, they're going to be having the RCC Tigers football. They're gonna Tigers! Have, uh, they're going to have a game over at RCC. Excited about that. So we'll get a chance to kind of go over there, check those brothers out. Um, it, it's People are in the grass. Scrimmages were happening. I was at uh, Linfield Christian yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh, they're, you know, they're preparing for a new season. Uh, Coach Burns, uh, the Linfield Lions, I believe they are, and had a lifetime with them. They're going to be featured in the IE Sports Net magazine. Uh, is that right, Coach B? That is correct. That, that, did Coach Burns have the fingers taped up? Well, he didn't have the fingers. <laughs> okay, I just wanted because he was, at our all game, he was one of the assistant coaches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, he was ready. He was ready. And and we'll, we'll make the announcement because we know he's going to have a great year. He's already agreed to, to help coach the game this year. He'll be the head coach. Yes. Um, in, in, in the head coach capacity. And, you know, we follow each other on Facebook, and he's actually on his way. One of his sons, one's at uh, Arizona, one's at Dixie State. And I know he was saying, um, I'm not sure which one it was, but he, he and the family are on their way out uh, right. to see them uh, do their spring. So, you Fantastic. know, football is in the air. I am excited. Yes, it is. Eternal. I am excited. You know, we kind of created shockwaves when we, 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 we do this little thing that gets people a little excited. They get people a little bit excited. Um, and they, they uh, we call it the preseason top 10. Uh, so should we go ahead and let people know that? Cause you know, you do this thing on the back end, you do the website yes, and you look at the analytics Yes, and you said that people lose their they, mind. They they lose their wig. Uh, but you know, again, we just kind of sit back and just uh, it's, it's always great. We get a chance to debate. One of the guys, uh, our guy Bubba. Bubba. Bubba it's Bubba Gonzalez, correct? Yes. Bubba yes. is our guy. Really, you know, it, it's funny because Bubba used to challenge us, which is good. You know, uh-huh. we, you know, we we welcome that sometimes. Uh-huh. You know, hey, if we're out of step, let us know. Uh, but Bubba was on there. Some people were, you know, some people were just, you know, they felt, you know, it's, it's sensitive because uh-huh. it's your high school on the wood, so we understand. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But uh, Bubba was there, really just saying that, hey, you know, the the, the poll looks legit. So at any rate, we'll go ahead without further ado. Let's go ahead. We'll, uh, we'll go number 10, Coach. And this is one I think uh, caused people to really get upset when they saw that number 10. You know, but here's the thing. We got to be bold. You know, IE Sports Net, we call ourselves the Inland Empire Sports Authority. And we do that. And we did that before we even knew anything about sports. But now we do know sports. So number 10, small school, but they've got some talent. They've got a back over there uh, that we probably need to get on the show. Right. Um, but number 10, for the IE Sportsnet preseason poll was San Bernardino Aquinas. Yes, and and as you mentioned, uh, they're actually uh, uh, doing some expe- expected to do some very special things. So yeah, as you mentioned, we do have to have them. Burns on the show. will be seeing them this year in NT. league. Yeah, so that you know, hey, 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 hey. Uh, also uh, coming in at number nine, uh, Coach B uh, for the IE Sportsnet eleven man football poll preseason poll. We have uh, Norco. And that is a, you know, you went to Ramona, yes. uh, you know, so you've been around a long time. Talk about Norco. I mean, has that team ever had a poor uh, season? No, they have not. And they've been really uh, on point. So, yeah, again, shout out to Norco. Uh, but, you know, and they're, and again, they have the, uh, you know, it's a, it's a culture over there that they have in terms of winning football. But uh, coming at number eight, Coach B, who we got, man? We got, and this is a team, this is the little engine that could, they're always winning. Uh, in their league, and it is Heritage. Mm. Yeah. It, it, oh, go ahead. No, it, as you said, uh, Heritage is just, again, they're, they're establishing a winning culture over right, there. Right, right. And, uh, you know, and go see them. And it, what it, people have to realize about our poll, which is different than other polls, is our poll is Riverside and San Bernardino. And kind of. Some people a lot of times just say, why is Heritage so low? Right. Because we are Riverside and San Bernardino. Right. But I think we have a caller, uh, Coach B. Okay, we'll okay. Make sure we can see if we can get this, uh, get our caller on. Uh, Coach B, as you all, as you know, uh, one of the things we always like to do, we got to make sure we have our, our callers live on air. So it looks like, let me see, I think we have a caller here. Uh, caller, you're live on air. Uh, who do we have calling in today on IE Sports Now, Fox Sports Radio? Oh, well, this is Shante Wayne. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. You know what? She like, I'm a win. I, I, I call you know. I call the public line. <laughs> they like, right. uh, did I win anything? Right, did right, we go right. play a game? What's going on? She like, I am a wins. Y'all gonna get me in. I was about to say, and, and, you know, she was like, if, if y'all got $100 to give on the, on the prize money, go ahead and make that payable to me. <laughs> you say? <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for uh, calling in. I know it's early. Uh, so tell us where you are right now, because I know you're you're out and about. 
Yeah, I'm in I'm in Richmond, Virginia right now. Okay, so you're in and now the great thing about what you're doing, uh, which is uh, really uh, special, and again, we have uh, Shantae Waynans on the phone. You are part of the Waynans, the legendary family, and we all sit here and we think to ourselves, what was, Sir. What was like? Sir. Huh? I have to stop you right there. Why do you say Waynans? D- did I not say it correctly? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Because I just love what <laughs> nah, it's way it's look ahead. I'm so sorry. Oh, you mispronounced it is what she said, so she corrected you. Oh, you know? No, because he was like, you know, man, your family, you know, they show and, and just whining. And I was like, oh, man, it's funny because I get it a lot. Like, oh, yeah, it's Wayne's. You know what? This is Coach B. I, it's Wayne's. I know that. You know, when your uncle is <laughs> Keenan, Damon, Sean, Marlon. No, you, you don't you need know an introduction. The first name. It's the last name. <laughs> it's the last name, right. I know, I know. This chick came to my show and was like, like she told me she was like we cousins. I was like what? She was. I said, she said yeah. Um, I'm a wine uh, whining too. I said you guys the wrong show. <laughs> you looking for singers? Right, yes. right, <laughs> right, right, right. You looking for B B C C? I didn't. I didn't mean to interrupt though. What you said? No, no, it's all love. But no, but again, uh, talk to us about that. And again, obviously you you have a, a lot of family. They've they've been doing it. You know, since you know since I was I've been young. So tell us about the, how that is. That experience of just growing up in that legendary family. Um, well, to be honest, when I was younger, I didn't really like the life. You know what I mean? I I, I, uh, I was in the midst of them becoming famous. You know what I mean? So it was like I was there from that beginning. And so when you go from, you know, being poor and, you know what I'm saying, right. you know, to walk outside and do all that stuff to go to a funeral and people want to take pictures, right. you're kind of like, ah. Right, right. <laughs> this is a I weird can imagine. Life, but I can imagine. But as I grew up, you know, the crazy thing about my family is that we all have some type of talent. You know, if you're not right. funny, you know how to do music. If you can't do music, you draw. Like, it's so crazy uh, of the genes that have been passed down to us that, like, it, it's on. It's you can't deny it. So when I when I moved out to Cali, um, I I got to experience the actual industry, and I found love in that. That's good. Now, again, now you've been uh, successful, obviously, in your own right. You uh, starred in movies uh, Fifty Shades of Black. Uh, yeah. You, you also toured with comedians such as Cat Williams, cast member on Nick Cannon's uh, Wildin' Out. Talk to yep. us about those experiences and, and how you know you've been you know trying to establish yourself. Well, um, I I used to I used to be somewhat rebellious <laughs> before because <laughs> the whole you know when you're with the Wayans, I remember when we first started and like you know my uncle Damon took me and little Damon uh, on tour. And, uh, you know, we had, like, two minutes of material, and uh, he had us performing in uh, arenas, and we bombed, you know what I'm saying? But I say that to say it's like it's a gift and a curse right. to have that outlet, um, but trying to find your own voice. And so as I, as I started to grow, I kept, you know, I, I toured them, and I was like, I need to get out there so that I could, you know, like... Just just to be away from them in some type of fashion, so it's not like it's them doing it for me. Right. Um, right. But but being with Chad, you know, was crazy. I moved to Atlanta. Um, I was like, I'm a go, you know. And I got there, and um, uh, a month later, Cat came to my show, and uh, he took me on tour with him. And at that point, when I was on tour with him, it uh, it motivated me so much because I got to hear it from another another legend. Right. And believing in my stuff, you know, it was a big. That was a big part of me. My material and the stuff I talk about is my life experience, and some people are not really receptive to it in the way where it's a breakout. <laughs> you know, it's right, a breakout. Right. I'm talking about my lifestyle, and, and you know, so it's touchy, um, but it's funny. And, right. and if you know, you give me a chance, you you'll really enjoy it. So he brought that out of me. He he, he not not outside of my family to hear from somebody else was like yes. You know? That's good. That's good. Coach. And once again, we're joined on the Boost Mobile Celebrity Hotline by comedian, writer, and actress Shantae Wayans um, on IE Sports Night, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal. Now, you know, one of the reasons that, that um, we, we're, we're honored to have you on is you're going to be here in Ontario. You're going to be locally. You're going to be at the Improv on Tuesday, August 22nd at That's 8 o'clock. Right. Doors open at 7. How excited are you about being out here? In, you know, people, it's, it's Ontario, but it's Southern California. We're a suburb of L.A. Um, how excited are you to be out here in the uh, in the IE? 
Oh man, I, I he is one of my favorite places to be. You know, you get you get that mixed crowd. They come and they're ready and. You know, every every time I'm in that area, I I have a great time. So nice. you know, I got some new stuff. I'm I'm throwing out there and I elevate, it and I'm I'm just really excited to show these people what I have to uh, offer. And you know, uh, you know, uh, one thing I always talk about. You know, my my uncles haven't done much in life. Uh, you know, I'll be honest. <laughs> you know, the the Arrington family hasn't done that much. But you know, you know, as we mentioned, you grew up in one of the most recognizable families in comedy and the history. You know, you said you bombed when you went on stage, but when you're out doing your things and you're you're on your own and you don't have them around, how cool is it to be able to call up Keenan, Damon, Shauna, Marlon, and ask them for advice? Do they try to guide you, or or was it one of those things where you found comedy, or were you? Uh, uh, kind of, you know, I'm, I'm Wayans. I need to do this. What, what was your take on that? No, so like when when I first moved out here, I, I, I started working on Scary Movie, right? And I had the opportunity to see the different departments as a PA. So I, I was in, I was into computers in high school, and I actually went to college for a semester to become, you know, do computer science. Long story short, I moved out to Cali. I, I saw my cousin. I went, we went to uh, a comedy show. I saw my cousin perform. And I wanted to get on stage. Like at that moment, that's when the fire built in me because I, he he did an open mic. I went home and I couldn't sleep because I thought of two jokes. Um, I went and I tried those jokes the next day. That that same club asked me to come back that evening, and that's when I was like, "This is this is it." You know what I mean? Yeah. And so the crazy thing is, uh, Sean was the one to guide me through. You know how to how, what what to look for and kind of teach me and stuff and, and uh, they, they would come out to my shows and you know I would be on stage and I would I would freeze and they would go and what else and what if the you know uh, <laughs> the girl does this you know so it, it's fun to have that around you know and, right. and again through my ups and downs you know I, w- I would call them at like 4 in the morning be like hey so I said this joke and I thought it was really funny <laughs> no one laughed right. you know but it's, like it's, me when so I was growing good. up <laughs> like me when I was growing up, no one laughed at me. <laughs> no, no, but that's so. You know, being on stage, everybody fears it. Even the most gangster person uh, in the world can't get on stage. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah. it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's such a hot feeling when you're on there and you're trying to give your life. And then <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, no, that's that's good stuff. But again, thank you so much uh, for calling. Oh, we're looking, thank you. we're looking forward to your show. Uh, Hopefully, we'll be there. Uh, we 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 got to talk to the improv, but uh, well, yeah, we want to do it like I a big giveaway. Be there. Yeah. I, I, I think you should for sure be there, and I'm a, I'm gonna be I'm gonna have to come up to the station, and we're gonna have a talk. That you works. Know, because, we, we well, let me let me let me ask you this. I don't go to DL Ugly <laughs> shows because he calls people. Do, will you try to embarrass me in front of my wife? He, he if I'm a, sitting he, in the front, he, that's what he, I want to be in front. In the front, and don't do anything stupid. And he'll exactly. Be fine. I told him that. That's said, stay out the way. People come to these shows sometimes and they sit in the front. They got their arms crossed. You got to get them. Oh, you, yeah. it's, a, it's energy in the room. You know right. what I'm saying? So the only time I talk to people is if I feel like my energy is negative. Like, you got your arms <laughs> crossed. That, it's not even cold in the building. That means you're pre um you know, you're like make me laugh. Right, like, right. Don't don't come pay for tickets and, and have that attitude. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you know, I'm gonna come you, there you with a. You go home and watch Snap. I'm gonna come, come, come with a warm smile. I'm gonna come with a warm smile. Yeah, yeah right. I'm gonna say I like your hair. I like your outfit. I'm gonna come. I'm here with my wife. Don't embarrass me, please. <laughs> I won't do it, but but I can tell. I can tell you're the guy that don't talk about me, but you're gonna talk to me. So don't go. sit in the front. Okay. Don't sit in the front. There you go. There, see? I got it. I got it. Word to the wise. There you Again. go. There you right. go. <laughs> well, we definitely appreciate it. We were joined uh, on the Boost Mobile Celebrity Hotline by Shante Wayans. Thank you. Uh, yes. Writer, comedian, actress on IE Sports Net, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal. Remember to check her out at the Ontario Improv on Tuesday, August 22nd at 8 a.m. Doors open at 7. For tickets, log on to OntarioImprov.com. Again, that's OntarioImprov.com. You can connect with Shante Wayans 
on social media. Better say that right too, man. C Wayans. That's C W A Y A N S R uh, on the web at cwayans.com. We got to make sure we get all those plugs, and I don't want the improv saying right, that we, we we coordinated this interview. Yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, big up to, uh, again. Thank you so much. I mean, she's extremely talented. Yes. I've, I've seen her on the yes. stage prior, and yes. she, she does. So really you've good. had a chance to already see her. Oh yeah, I've seen her get down. Okay. She's good. She's okay. really good. Okay. I was I was thoroughly impressed. That's before I even knew, you know. What, what the deal was. Yeah, yeah. I saw her saying that well, so I don't know. She's, it's she's, funny, sometimes people don't want to go by their name. Right. Because they don't want it. They don't, like the Charlie Sheen uh, uh, S of S. That, that's right. why uh, Charlie oh, yeah. went by, by Sheen. Right, uh, right. Because it's hard to live up to. Guarantee, yeah, because they're thinking you're going to do this. And yes. then you're like, hey, well, hold on a second. Yes. I don't know you for that. I yes. don't know you for this. So, yeah. Yes. Believe it. So I understood. So, yeah, but again, uh, we have a great show. Got people coming up. Yes. We got a packed show, Coach. We, yes. we got to, to get it in, man. So You know, we got to. And we didn't even finish our, our poll either. Yes, so we, we can we can get it at the end of the hour. But one thing that was story, you know, before you got to the station, so we had Los Osos. We had, because uh, Coach Pierce is coming up next. Right. Uh, the new head coach at Los Osos after the commercial break. But we had the players in, in the uh, 99-1 room, and you could see one of the guys is just directing guys where to go and whatnot. And I could look at him, I could see his size. I said, you must be a back, a linebacker. He's like, yep. <laughs> you could just tell the linebackers, you know, you on the defensive side. What is it about the linebackers that they just control everything on that side of the ball? I don't know, man. It's, Do you fear it's, for it's, your life when you a, deal well, with the it's, it's, a, it's, it's definitely it's a character. I, you know, coaches uh, coaches look for that. Coaches yes. look for that for yes. that, 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 that whatever that that thing is. So we'll get a chance to talk to Coach Pierce in a little bit. He'll, yeah, because one of the things you got to think we grew up, we grew up in the eighties. Right. The linebacker that we think of, you Single think of eyes. Guaranteed. You know, you remember those eyes. Come on, please. You know, you know but. That. You know, when I told it's funny, we'll go to break after this. When I told my wife, I said, you know what? I did the first show. I got to bring this guy in because I don't think I can do it. His name is Eternal. And she, you know what she said? Can't win with him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all these young kids, like, they, yeah, don't know, they don't know. Google that. Oh, that's you hilarious. know, Google that. Oh, so, my God. That's, that's good stuff right there. But let's go ahead and take Can't a win with him. <laughs> I would rather play with no, no. no but no. Google that. He was talking about Vernon Davis. Vernon Isn't Davis. that crazy? Yeah. One of the best uh, uh, tight ends tight ends ever. Yep. Uh, you're listening. To, let's take a commercial that, break. Nice. But come on, man. You got to give him. You know, I'm talking about pre-dress. I mean, before he cut the hair off. Okay, there you go. There you go, there you go. So you're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood-thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, 
volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year, we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle ScoreSports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Los Angeles Lakers. This is Xavier Henry from the LA Lakers. And you're listening to IE Sports Day. Yes, we are live in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. I'm excited. We're joined in studio by the new Los Osos head football coach, Coach Pierce. Uh, now, he's not new to coaching. We we, uh, we remember him from, from his previous coaching stop um, on IE Sportsnet, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal. Coach! How are you doing this morning? I'm fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Go ahead and let us know who you have in studio with you this well, morning. Well, no, for, Coach, please introduce yourself correctly because I think, you know, Coach B uh, messed around and got your name all messed up. So let's, so let's, ha- <laughs> let's have you in the day. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Go ahead. Good, no, go ahead, Coach. But, um, Alex Pierce, the new head football coach of Los Osos. Yeah, it's Coach Pierce. I know. Yeah. Oh, keep going. <laughs> keep going. Yeah. Coach Pierce. All okay. right. Keep going. <laughs> no, I'm just, no, go ahead, Coach. Go ahead, go ahead, Coach. There's something highlighted we're not talking about. I don't know, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what's on there. <laughs> but there there's something those, are, those are notes that we don't need to worry about, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, and so, who do you have with you? It's Connor Helsius, linebacker, Matthew Williams, Brett Cabral, and Kyle Jorgensen. Fantastic. Now, now these gentlemen look like they just got through doing the the, the 500 uh, push-up regiment. Uh, you know what I mean? Because, you know, before I came in, I hit about a good seven push-ups just to make sure. <laughs> you know, I wanted to make sure everything was legit. But, again, Coach, thank you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys coming in nice and early. Uh, off in off season, you, got, you obviously came from uh, Rialto Carter. And uh, now moving over to this school, uh, talk to us about the transition, Coach, and obviously you got to, you know, when you get there, you got to hit the ground running. So maybe how the staff and, and, and the administration helped mm-hmm. you out with that process, that transition process. Well, you know, when the, when the job opened, it was a place, uh, you know, they're great at everything. You know, they have when the, they have the best, you know, scores in, in San Bernardino County. Uh, the girls' basketball team won the CF championship, won the state. Their band's awesome. The aquatics is awesome. There's, it's a place that's surrounded by excellence. And so, right. you know, they want to be great at football as, as well. And so, um, I talked to the, the when I interviewed the principal, uh, Mr. Kurt. You know, he has he has a vision for the school that everybody's very clear on. You know, and the direction is going is the thing of wanting to be great at everything. Right. You know, they're they're taking um. You know, I keep bringing up like a Stanford type of approach to things. They're gonna be great at academics. They're gonna be great at at sports. They're gonna be great at the band and and, right. and, and the theater project and everything else. And so it's just a place that um, when you show up, there's a very high expectation. You know, and part of building that is is um, really exciting to me. Fantastic. Now, obviously, uh, uh, you know, the program uh, had success uh, prior. Um, and again, you know, here here in the baseline league, and, mm-hmm. and, and that league is obviously different from what you've come from. Uh, but again, the same thing, very competitive. Uh, your league, is, your, the, the league you're in prior, has more history. But talk to us about the baseline league, because when you think of Inland Empire, people immediately think baseline league. So, you know, how do you look at that? And, and what are the thoughts about, you know, the teams in that league? Well, I mean, I think that's one of the things that drew me to the program is that being in the elite league. You know, I think if um, any any good coach wants to be wants to be challenged, wants to move up. You know, I think if you look at um, college coaches like that, they win someplace, they want to go someplace else and try doing that, doing that same thing again. The baseline league is is the best league around, in my opinion. You know, I mean, you got 
Ranch Cucamonga, you got private schools, you got Damien, you know, you got Upland, you know, two very history programs. Right. And Los Osos was right in the mix for a very long time. Right. You know, they've fallen some hard times the past few years. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's just something, like I said, where I think you can build it to be excellent. I mean, they're still great at everything else. We should be great at football, too. Indeed. Right, right. I agree. And like we said, we uh, when I moved here in 05, that quarterback they had went to UCLA. So, I mean, they were they were putting up some numbers. It is, it's a beautiful campus. Um, I, I live in Fontana, and I know that Los Osos school. Um, you know, what, what, once again, we're in studio with new Los Osos head coach, Coach Pierce, um, on IE Sports Net, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach being eternal. Now, we know the preseason. We're still in the preseason. You guys are working out. You got your, your, your linebacker's got his water, so he has to stay hydrated. So I, I like that. Um, you know, one interesting thing, when I was looking at your schedule, you know, like we said, you came from Rialto Carter. Um, and when I looked at your schedule, you you didn't mess around. The first game, you're going back to the Lions' den. Uh, so you're going to be playing at, at Rialto Carter. What is it going to be like when you go there the first time and you're in the visitor locker room and you're driving up in a bus, not in your car? So what is that going to be like for you, Coach? Well, you know, we – We'd read up with, with Los Osos when I was still at Carter during the season last year ah. before the job even opened. It wasn't a thing of we got the Los Osos job and scheduled and we we'd read up in, in September okay. you know, before the job even opened. Um, you know, it's gonna be a hostile place. You know, right, I mean it's right. gonna be uh, you know, a little different showing up there for sure. You know, I've never been on the visitor's sideline. Right. You know, but <laughs> you know, it's uh you know, I had, a, I had a great time there. There's nothing negative to say about it, but right. you know, I'm looking forward to being Los Osos and, and building that and, and, you know, showing what we can do. And Fantastic. doing some things. And, you know, in addition to Carter, uh, you have Irvine, a Northwood, you have Alta Loma, you have Chino, Silverado, um, prior to getting to the baseline league. And like we said, you, you're going to have Rancho. You're going to mm-hmm. have Upland. You're going to have Etiwanda and Damien. Um, and the baseline is, is by far one of the most difficult uh, leagues in, in, in the Inland Empire. Um, and we talked about it. You came from the Citrus Belt. You had Rev. You had Upland. You had Redlands. So you're used to difficult leagues. It's, right. it's, so uh, do you think that's going to prepare you going into the baseline? Because every there's no weeks off in the baseline. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, the CBL is a great league al- also. You know, I mean, it's not like we came from a league where there wasn't a bunch of competitive teams. Right. I think it's a thing of, you know, we build in week in, week out. It's going to be hopefully be decided by, you know, a score or two. Best position, who plays better that, that week. Right, right. Uh, and then and we want to have you bring some of the uh, the players. I know we got some of the questionnaires, uh, and you're excited about that. So before we bring some of the players up, if you can name name them one by one for, for us, Coach. Okay, Connor Helsius, Matthew Williams, Brett Cabral, and Kyle Jorgensen. All right. Okay, so Brett. Where, who's Brett? There he is. Okay, cool. And, you know, generally speaking, and Coach, and Coach, you've been doing this a long time. You probably know this more so than I do. Um, uh, uh, the quarterbacks always have like the hair, correct? Like they, you know, the care, the, <laughs> the, care, the quarterbacks generally are the ones that they come in and, and you know they 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 you know they they took a couple selfies, make sure everything was right, they put out to the public. Hey, I'm doing radio today. They say, you see the red vest, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go ahead, we, well, let's go ahead and have the quarterback come up, please. Uh, so we have we have Brett here now. Brett, interesting. Uh, I got a chance to you know read over your stuff, and I you know. Uh, I'm always excited when I when I see gentlemen that are excelling in the classroom. And I think that's one of the things when you look, you think of uh, Osos. Go ahead, and pull the mic up close. I wait because I know you got you got your public you know listening yeah, to yeah. you. You want to make sure that you know. Uh, but uh, four AP classes, and uh, you said here, and I want to make sure you know because the people are listening. You know they're gonna be checking that. They're gonna be fact checking. <laughs> but right now, yeah, maintaining no fake a, news here. Right, <laughs> <laughs> maintaining a, a 4.5 GPA. Talk to us about. Uh, the importance and why you think it's important uh, for you to be able to perform uh, well, obviously on the field, and and, and then that transaction transition, excuse me, into the classroom. Yeah, sir. I've always thought that that's uh, the most important aspect, you know, of uh, playing sports is you have to maintain an academic uh, standard. You have to have uh, set the bar for yourself, and it just it opens up so much more opportunities for you, especially moving uh, to a different career in your life. You uh, football is going to end sometime, so right. Right. Now, are you the student body president? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Well, I'm, you know, they, they call me president." Right, president, right, president. right, right. Um, and then, and then also, yeah, you mentioned uh, that that uh, you also uh, you you have a challenge in terms of you were diagnosed with arthritis, so you're obviously uh, going through that, playing through that as well. Talk to us about that and how that is for you as well. Yeah, uh, that was it was difficult uh, in my younger years. Uh, it was definitely uh, something I had to get over. Um, I'm taking medication now for it, though. Um, I've got it uh, taken care of, and everything moving forward now is 
It's just me. I don't have to worry about any of that in my past. Right. Fantastic. Now, uh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I was when I was in school, I was diagnosed with being garbage. Right. So, so, so yeah. that was... He, that had, was... A, he had an arthritic <laughs> behind from sitting on the, on the bench too much, right? So, so let's, have, let's, have, let's have Connor come up real quick, please. So this, this is your, your linebacker. Yeah, Connor, so, Connor jacked so up. So he's going to direct the question. So if you right. want to ask the questions, because you see, you see the arms. So, right, young right, man, right. if you want to ask the questions, feel free right, to man. ask the go questions. Ahead, just, go ahead. Just, you know what I mean? Give him, a little, give him a little slap in the stomach. I don't want him putting me in a headlock or anything, right, you know? Right. So, Connor, uh, now, you know, tell us about the program over there, because you guys have a new coach. And, you know, the, the you know, first game, you guys are going to be taking on Carter, his former high school. What's the thought process among the players right now about, you know, how, the, you know, because obviously that's going to be, you know, you guys are a, a, a reflection of your coach. And then, you know, I, and I know that's a big deal. But talk to us about that first game and how you guys are preparing for that. I think we're preparing for like any other game. I think it's a it's a matter of uh, fixing the little things like so far the scrimmage. The scrimmage has showed us a lot about. What we need to fix as a as an entire as a defense, I know we we're, we're starting to stick. We're starting to get together as a as a whole. We're starting to get rid of the really small mistakes. We still got a little bit of that 12% rule to fix. We got to make 12% of our plays or less, like some without penalties, because right. that's going to kill our defense. But Guaranteed. I know I know we're going to get turnovers. I know we're going to make plays. It's just it's just a matter of uh, uh, just get just getting your mindset for game time. It's not a matter of who you're playing. It's about you're playing against yourself in your own mind. Right, fantastic. Now, I'm going to ask you, when you see a, a, a running back coming out of the backfield, you know it's a screen play, <laughs> and you see that running back, and you, you're you locked in on him. What's that feeling when you know you're about to just deplete this this uh, this running back? How does that feel? Uh, it's more like uh, just make the play, do your job. I just I, – I don't feel like I'm – I don't want to deplete – I don't want to – I don't want to deplete someone, but – I'm gonna do my job before I'm gonna make that all-star play because I know my team needs it, and if I just try to go too hard, I'm, I might miss. There you go. So then, you, that's for a man to play. Because if I got something like that, I take my helmet off. Oh yeah, well you I, know, you would think it was Spartan. Well, I had, a, I, I had a run. That's what I was saying. I, I had this whole thing. I never scored a touchdown, obviously, and you know, so I, I had this thing. Well, like, I never played. Well, I played, but yeah, I never scored. A I touchdown. did not. And, and so I, th- I had this thing like, well, when I score, I'm gonna come out the helmet. You know, I'm gonna come out the helmet first. Then I'm, I'm gonna hop over. We had a little fence. I'm gonna get over the fence, and I'm gonna get over to the street. That's what the, I had a whole thing planned out. Hence, I never scored. So, that, so that's why I gotta work on scoring first. So let's, we have Kyle. Let's go ahead and have Kyle come on. Up. Kyle, how's it going today, sir? Good. How's All right, so, for you? Hey, sir, thank you. I'm doing well. Kyle, are, are we doing push-ups? Uh, what's going on with the? Cause you guys, the weight room, the weight room must be active and must be going on over there at Osos. Talk to us about the workout program over at Osos. Oh yeah, it's always active. It's always intense. We keep it going. Um, we just work through, never stopping. And what? what? Oh, I was gonna say, what position do you play? Oh, I play running back and linebacker. Okay, okay. So, so okay, so now, right now, who would you say that when you look at your game, you say, "Hey, I'm trying to really kind of, you know," and again, obviously, just in terms of professional sports, who's like somebody you look at? Say, I want to model my game after that guy. Um, I would say Ray Lewis. Right, <laughs> Ray, Ray Lewis. That's a good bar, yeah, right? That's a good bar. <laughs> that, that's a bar right there, right? Yeah. Guaranteed. What like do you that. prefer most, offensive? Do you, you like getting hit or hitting? I just like playing. Okay. I just like playing. Get, He's like, yeah, playing. put me in there, coach. I heard yeah. that. That's there good go. stuff, coach. Got, I like it. I like next, it, man. Our next so, coach. Yes, absolutely. So, I, I, and I'll ask you this. Like we said, it's the first year for Coach Pierce to be there. Um, we know that, that Ed, uh, I'm sorry, Los Osos has had a little rough stretch. What are you looking forward to this season? Um, Just some change, some new intensity. Mm-hmm. Just bringing it to some teams, surprising some people. There you go. Mm, turn turn down the doubters. There you I go. That, man. There you go. We got one more gentleman coming up. Go ahead and introduce yourself and let everybody know, man. You said my you said my questionnaire was hard, man. So. <laughs> well, my name is Matthew Dion Williams II. Uh huh. Uh huh. So you D line tight end. So so you guys got a lot of people on both sides oh, of wait, the ball. So you play you play tight end too? Yes, sir. No, no. Let me ask you. <laughs> he's like he's, he's like don't let guy. He's like, he's like, he's like <laughs> don't let the smooth taste fool you. Now let me ask you this. So. When coach puts you in that tight end, are, is the defense now? The defense probably thinking, okay, they're gonna probably go, you know, they're gonna run, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna do, they're gonna do like some kind of like, but you can catch, I, I imagine. Yes, sir. There you go. You're the one who gets, you're, you're the one who gets it lit, huh? Well, I try. There you go, right. Bubba, Bubba Bear three thousand. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> follow me, Twitter. <laughs> He's like it's active, it's going down. Uh, Tell us about right now uh, defense. Obviously, you guys have to bring a certain attitude, you know, different than the offense. 
Uh, talk to us about how you guys are p- preparing right now defensively for, you know, obviously you have game one and just thinking like kind of game one, game by game. But wh- how are you guys preparing on the defensive end? Oh, well, like Connor said, you know, we are, we got to get um, – we, we got to make minimal mistakes because we have the talent and we have – Obviously, the strength, you know, right. Pierce 90X. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Pierce 90X. I like, so we're like, working that thing. He's like, he's like, we working that thing over there. I heard that. So, you know, we're doing it physically, you know, as long as we get that 12% rule down and we just make it there mentally, then, you know. Now, no, I see you said an interesting fact. You said band. Did you play in the band? I do play in the so, band. So, so, like, no, no, halftime, I'm doing right now. so at halftime, you go out there in the band, and then you come back and suit up after the game. So, or to get back in the game. So, and you, you'll like this, Eternal. So, football, wrestling, and track. So, yeah, we, I think we have, we have, we have a couple guys. Who else wrestles over here? My man right here wrestles. Okay, yeah. okay. Guaranteed. So, so yeah. Wait now. Wait, what did now, you wrestle at? One, one hundred and five. You know, keep it up. <laughs> keep it up. It was one fifteen. I have you know. <laughs> <laughs> and which is significantly different, uh, but but uh, <laughs> uh, but talk to you know wrestling now again. That's one of the things I always tell people. I said, there's you know you guys you let me know. I don't know, and I don't want to say you know coach. I want to have coach doing me having me doing push-ups. But wrestling to me was the most difficult. You know, what I mean in terms of, but it prepared you the best uh, for for really anything in terms of endurance. What, what do you what do you learn from wrestling? What's something you take from wrestling for you? Oh uh, well, I took wrestling all the way back when I was like little, with my little. My older brother, yeah. I look up to him a lot. And one night, we was watching my mom's dad. So then, we put on WWE. And I was like, <laughs> okay, that looks cool. And Mal Hardy and Jeff Hardy. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then my brother's going crazy. And I looked up to him and I was like, man, my brother's happy. I'm happy. Man, I'm about to be a WWE superstar. <laughs> so then, I got to high school. And I was like, you know, no one's really wrestling my family. And I always wanted to wrestle. I was like, let's see how it works out. And then, you know. It worked out really well. There you go. <laughs> that's and good it, stuff. So uh, that and that's good stuff. And he's ca- he's carrying the WWE mentality into high school. Wrestling, it was WWF is, when I was a kid, but well, that's know, what it was. And yeah. hopefully his favorite wrestler is the Hawk. But right. you know, oh, or Rick Flair, Steve Austin, baby. Oh, see, man. see, it's, it's you a know, where, where's Coach? See, I'm about to say, Coach knows it's Ric Flair. It's Rick. Anybody, Rick anybody know about Ric Flair? Is Rick Jesus Flair. Christ. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's uh, oh, we, have, we have we have Coach. Yeah, we'll we'll have Coach come back up. And once again, it's 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 we're here with Los Osos football first year head coach. Coach Alex Pierce, um, we, we're really excited about this on IE Sports Net, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach being eternal. And, and, and like we said, Coach, uh, we know you guys are in, it's it's, uh, it's preseason. These guys are, I mean, you got some some studs in here in studio with us. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, is, is it going to be difficult for you to 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 start? Uh, you're starting all over because you built something special in, in Rialto. Mm-hmm. Let's ask you about that process. What is that like? Does that get you excited to, to build something new and your your have your own stamp on there? Yeah, no, it's, it's very exciting. Obviously, that was something that um, was very interesting to me. I said I've been in Rialto Unified for for 17 years and had a good experience there. But you know, it's something I wanted to I want to do is turn around. Like I said, I think that Los Osos is a, a great place. I mean, the whole every they, everyone there wants to be great at everything. Right. You know, it's just a place that's surrounded by excellence. You know, I mean, the, the superintendent left me a hand, handwritten message in my oh, nice. in my box and stuff. Like people are just the expectations right. there are, are very high. You know, when the first days of school. I showed up. I'm like, man, I'm gonna be the first person there. I'm gonna show up 30 to 45 minutes before school starts. Right. Place is already packed. The teachers are already <laughs> there. The kids are already there. I mean, right. it's a place where so the academics are very high, but they offer before school tutoring, after school tutoring, lunch tutoring. I mean, it's the thing of everybody wants to be great. The teachers want to be great. The right. band wants to be. I mean, it's just a place that everybody wants to um, excel. You know, and you walk around campus, and everybody has goals. Everybody wants to excel, and so I think that's something that was exciting to me is that I can kind of foster that through the football program. Something else that we can be great at. There you go. Yeah, we guarantee it. Well, again, Coach, thank you guys for coming. Thank the gentleman. You know, you brought some uh, some real great gentlemen here. Best of luck to you this season, Coach, and we look forward Next to Next week, they'll be after it. Yeah, guarantee They will be at taking on Rialto Carter. Yeah, so there you know, there it is right there, right in the light. So, uh, Thank best God of luck. football's back. Yeah, guarantee, man. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. I, I think I, I got my mouthpiece boiling in the back room right there. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready to, ready to get this thing right. Like, you know, do the feed me. But uh, thanks again, Coach, thanks and best luck this Appreciate season, okay? All right, Thank fantastic. You. Please keep in contact. So, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Uh, we had, we, we're so excited about this, having Coach Pierce, uh, Los Osos Grizzlies in studio. Guarantee. Uh, great, great season. We, we wish them uh, brought in some of the fine young gentlemen. So it's going to be good stuff. So let's go ahead and do this. You ready to go to commercial? Yes, sir. You're listening to IE Sports Net connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority.
Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken in these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys, we're ready for our Four Seasons sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no, we'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym, my gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room, weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait, a family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons Now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous community. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment. Youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington, or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports. Or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle scoresports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. This is Ryan Kelly with the LA Lakers. And this is the I Sports Net. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside, the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sports Net connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. And, you know, this is this is a, a, a fine young gentleman that is, he was with us, like we said, in the broom closet. Yes. When we were like, or uh, you would like to call The Shining. The Shining, uh, yes. And he continues to come back every year. Well, you which, know, well, well, we have a different ambiance now. Uh, right. You don't have to fear for your life when you walk in and you walk through that. Because let me tell you something. He I trusted that- us, though. Because remember the first time he came, he we told him we had a radio show. And he, I'm sure when he got there, he was like, what is this? But he trusted us when we said we Well, moved. and then, you know, now we don't have to have, because let me tell you something. Walking through where we're, we're talking about uh, none other than the carousel mall which was deserted uh when we were in there uh and let me <laughs> tell you abandoned let me tell you something i don't know I, there are times we left at night i wanted to call somebody i wanted somebody to be escorting <laughs> me out of there but again we have uh coach uh, care coach care live Ganesha Ganesha, Giants. man right you know here. what respect the process i had to say his name first. <laughs> coach how you doing today hey we're doing great appreciate you guys having us on we got out of the walking dead mall <laughs> a few years ago. 
<laughs> we can laugh about it now. Right. Oh, yeah, now it's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, we're, we come from Pomona, so, you know, it wasn't that much different for us. Right, so you yeah, know you know the deal. Yeah. You're like, hey, man, been there, done that. Hey, Coach, uh, thank you uh, again for making that. You know, one of the uh, people that have always supported us, obviously, we, we sincerely appreciate that. Uh, no games yet, Coach, but we're here. I can smell the grass like I was telling the other team. In the back room, I have a mouthpiece of boiling. <laughs> um, I'm ready to slap some shoulder pads on and get after it, play a little game of Madden if need be. Uh, talk, give us a little minute and talk to us about Right now, what, what's, 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 what's changed from this year and where you guys are going? Because I know that, you know, you have preached, again, respect the process of changing the culture over there. Talk to us about where you are right now. Well, this year we're in a lot better place than we were last year. I mean, you see the guys I brought in with me la- this year. They're a little bigger than me. All my linemen were smaller than me last year. Right? And the problem we had last year, we had a lot of bad character kids. Right. And we've gotten rid of them. Right. This year we got a lot of good character kids, and they're kids that everybody wants to be around. Even the parents are coming to me and say there's a better vibe with the program than we had last year. We had a very disappointing year last year. Mm-hmm. We came off a 7-3 and three and flipped it the other way. Right. And that's not where we wanted to go. We're a smaller school, so it happens sometimes. Right. But I think this year we're going to be a lot better. We had a scrimmage uh, Friday night, uh, Thursday night, did pretty well in it. We've got a lot of guys that are just learning football, but... It was very encouraging. You had a team from L.A. come out. And, right. And uh, they wanted to get on the bus pretty quick. Right, and that's good. And, and Coach, talk to us about that because there are some times where, um, you know, and Coach B knows this. He's a coach. Um, I, I've, I've taught him stuff. I've gave him some of my. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> I've gave him some of my. <laughs> it's always nice how to have a tutor. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but, no, he could talk. But, again, talk about sometimes you do have to make that transition. And you may suffer uh, wins uh, based on kind of cleaning house a little bit, but it's a, it's an important transition. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, last year we had a couple of guys that just decided they were bigger than the team, and they ended up getting suspended the last game of the year, and we sh- we lost a game we should have won. Right. But it was a, I think it was a good thing for the program because everyone's like, if he could go, well, that could be me. Right, right. 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 Regardless of how good of an athlete you are, if you're not going to be part of the program, you're not going to be part of the team – What's the point of being out there? Right, 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 exactly. And, you know, I feel that way about the radio show because <laughs> we may need to clean house here as well, Coach. You know, because I just got to change the vibe here, you know. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking at your schedule, Coach, you you have some nine league games with Sierra Vista, you got Gladstone, Harupa Valley, uh, San Gabriel, Montclair, and Southland Christian. That's a lot of travel. You know, you guys travel a lot. Uh, what, what, why do you feel that that's important for your program? Well, we, I like to move around out of the area. Just so we can get our name around when it comes. If we get to the right possibility, we need to get to the playoffs. Right, right. If you just play teams that are within three miles of your school, no one knows who you are. Right. Like, you know, if we didn't come out here, no one would know who we were. Right. Like, we've got Harupa Valley. We've used, we played Notre Dame Riverside a couple of years ago. Right. Um, you know, we try to get around. And it gives you a little different view of things. Because in the playoffs, we're going to move around. Right. There's 83 teams in our playoff division. Wow. So we could play anywhere if we make the playoffs. Right. And, you know, one thing, I'm, I'm looking at, at uh, Coach's uh, bio sheet. And, you know, he and I, we, we we have something very similar. And I feel this is why I know that we, we vibe well. And you said you had a natural a lack of athletic ability. <laughs> and that's exactly what I had. You know, so. <laughs> so said, I, I, it was, wasn't like I walked on the field and everyone said, this is the first team all league. Right? Uh-huh. You know, I, I was the guy at the back of the line that got picked last in elementary right. school. And I had to work my butt off to get any chance to get on that field. Exactly. Right, right. And I had to make it so the coaches wouldn't take me off. Right. right. And it eventually got to that point. But it certainly wasn't because I was the best athlete in the room. I right. hear you. Well, I hear you. And, and that's something that, you, that can uh, ultimately uh, you can uh, talk to your, your your kids about is about the work ethic. You know, right. you have to work, and even the even the even the good ones. You know, like the greatest player in basketball ever, uh, Kobe Bryant. Ain't that right, Coach? Oh, Jesus. Man? Yeah. Um, <laughs> even he's even he's taking you know a thousand shots. But anyway, Coach, let's get you got some young man with you. Yes. I want, and, and these gentlemen said they've never done a radio. They've never been on air before. So we got to get these gentlemen on. Uh, so let's go ahead and have our have our first uh, gentleman go ahead and step up here. And coach, if you can name them off, because I want to make sure that we get it right. Name, name off all the players. Okay, we got Jaquise Wilborn, we got Jacob Delgadillo, and Tyler Wordsworth. Okay, know? all right, come on up. Look at the, I, I like the watch, man. Yeah. That's a, that's a yeah, nice. Don't hurt watch. no, don't hurt nobody, man. <laughs> uh, we, we were twins. We got to get our rolling. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, just in case we taking pictures today, anything like that. You know what I mean? Uh, please introduce yourself again. I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Jaquise Wilborn. I'm a receiver at Ganesha, number six. Fantastic. So that's now, a big receiver, coach. Yeah. Right now, now, yeah. so now, here's an important question, uh, young man. I mean, you know, uh, we're season gonna start. 
that's actually some, this is an important game today. Kind of like, you know, kind of giving you a little disclosure. Uh, who's the best receiver in the NFL? The best receiver in the NFL? Yes. Oh, that's easy. That's A.B. Antonio Brown. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, okay. I, okay. I mean, I'm, okay. I mean, okay. I'm not going. Who, okay. Who's your favorite receiver? Who's something that you you? He Google. just said. He just said. That, is that your favorite receiver? Uh, he's not my favorite, but okay. 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 Uh, he said he's the best. Oh, he's How's the best. It? Okay. Who's, who's your favorite I, receiver? Apologies. Who do you who do you Google and look after? Julio, Julio Jones. Okay, 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 okay. Like okay. You, you, say, you oh, get a roll tide. Oh, <laughs> that, you know, I, and I'm not mad. I, I thought, I personally thought you were gonna say, you know, Des Bryant. No, he, which, he which said the been, best player which and his been. favorite. So it would not be. You know what? Let you know. This is, <laughs> I can't be Des Bryant because I'm a Packers fan. There you go. There, I see. I like this young man. I'm about to say. What they, I like what, what they say? Man. Reclaiming my time, right? <laughs> you know, so, uh, something funny I saw on, on, on the internet. It's it was a, it was a mechanic. They said we fix suspensions unless you're Ezekiel Elliott. You know what? Keep it up. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Hey, friends, don't let friends be boys. <laughs> right? Oh my God! But talk to us about this, man. You guys got a new season. Uh, how are you feeling about the new season? You know, you know, you guys, you guys got to get after you it got early. A target. You got a target. Yeah, this year. So talk to us a little bit about that. Um, I think we're going to do really good this year. We got a lot of players that's committed. Everybody's showing up to practice so far. Last year, we really didn't have it. But this year, we got things coming. There you go. There you go. And we got another young gentleman coming up. Yes. Uh, my name is Jacob Delgadillo. Um, I'm a right guard. It's my first year playing football. Okay. Okay. So now, now you said you know how to fix cars. Yes. Okay. So check this out. I got some, you know, I mean, you know, because let me tell you something. <laughs> I gotta, you know, I don't, I, you know, I don't know if it's the hands or it's something. Like, I'll give an example. So yesterday, my, you know, the car light comes on, says I need a quart of oil. So I, had to, you know, I'm pulling over, I'm trying to find some oil. I was having a problem because I don't know if you can see the forearms. I was having a problem <laughs> getting the, the 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 little nozzle off. I had to ask somebody. I didn't really feel comfortable with it, and it was, a, you know, there was a, it was a female mechanic in there. So I and had she to, probably just came. No, 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 no. I waited. <laughs> I, I, I purposely waited till she like walked away and left. I had to get somebody else. I wouldn't go. You ain't go sit there. No, you ain't go to sit there and just twist that thing off in front of me. You know, but I was having a problem. But you know, so you ready to go? So if your car breaks down right now, you can like stop, drop, and roll, make something happen with it, right? Yes. I, yes. That's a good thing because let me tell you something. First things first. You know, football don't work. Mechanics are always employed. I tell you that. That's a good thing. That's always. Everybody got a car. But talk to us about the season. And how you feeling about it? Coach is here. You know, Coach stays fired up, so I know you know that already. Uh, but talk to us about how you're feeling about this new season. Uh, I feel good about this new season. We have some pretty good kids this year. Uh, I feel that we can win a lot of games this year. Fantastic. And you guys, you know, Pomona. So, you know, so you guys are coming from Pomona. So talk to us about how important it is uh, for you guys because there's a, there's, a, there's a couple of different schools like that are like, you know, you can almost see them if you look up. You know, you get to high enough, you can see them right around the corner. Good old P-Town. Yeah, you know, so you guys got, there's a circle of talent right there. So how important is it for you guys? Because you go to the mall, go to Del Taco, them boys is right there. You see them. How, how important is it for you guys to show up this year? Uh, I feel that it's really important because uh, we can bring more kids into the program if we do good this year. I heard okay. that, man. That's what's uh, up. Mr. Wilborn. Uh, we're, we're, okay. Oh, no, now, no, we have, no, we, we didn't get my oh, 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 my bad, my bad. Okay, this, we got this, one more. Okay, yeah, come yeah, on, my bad. Is, this is I, you know, I got the wrong questionnaire. See, my bad. I got it. This is Tyler. Okay, okay. Tyler. Yeah. Tyler, okay. Tyler, you got about four names. Tyler, Cedric, is it? How, how many names you got? <laughs> <Three. laughs> okay. And what position do you play, young man? I play varsity quarterback. Okay. Oh, so you're oh, a quarterback. Oh, you a quarterback. Oh, you a quarterback. Oh, that's okay. why he was back there, just kind of like you know. He's just like you know, I'm gonna get my time. Yeah, he was like you know, I'm just gonna wait till they get me to go. So we got a couple minutes. We got to make sure we get you in there. Quarterback now, important. Another important question. You know, who's the best NFL wise? Who's the best quarterback active right now? I'm ready. Okay, so, all right. Who's your favorite quarterback? <laughs> Tom Brady. <laughs> Who's your favorite team? Don't do that. Patriots. Oh, yeah. where, where, where did you grow oh, up? Where man, were you born and raised? Yeah, Coach, where is, where? you're from Southern California, right? Yeah. We've got like we four teams that. in the state. Yeah. <laughs> what you is it about Tom Brady that you like? I'll ask you that. Uh, my mom always liked it, so she just got me into liking it. Okay. So, so you've been, so you've been, so guaranteed. So you like, you've been, you thorough. You a pay, is it, can, can you guys? Can, is that that is that confirmed? He's been Patriots the whole time. <laughs> can y'all confirm that? I didn't talk to football about them. <laughs> it's kind of like my sophomore year. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. That's, that's all up. good. That's but, all. So what are you looking for? You're the quarterback. What are you looking forward to this season? We had a tough year, like we said, three and seven last year. Yeah. But you're the quarterback. You, the quarterbacks get all the praise. They get all the blame. What are you looking forward to this year? <laughs> 
a lot of praise. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's like, he's like, no, we're going to try to get it done this year. Yeah, I like yeah. that, man. So check this out. Uh, coach, again, we got to get ready to get out of here. But, Coach, I want to, I want, uh, uh, first thing first, I want to get you back on real quick. Oh, he's now, got a jersey. And he got a jersey. Oh, man. And that looks like, I almost looks like, oh. That is that there you is go. nasty. I like it. That I looks like, like it. almost like the OJ Earl Number Campbell 20. joint right that, there. That's a right. that's we a fault old number. School. We got oh. the UCLA stripes. Oh. Oh. The best looking jersey. You lost me. Yeah, at UCLA. it is, man. You oh. lost me at UCLA. Hey, no, hey. I'm a family guy, but <laughs> yeah. the jerseys are the jerseys are nasty, right? That is wet right there. We got the two eight. Wait, anybody wear two eight? Marshall? That's Marshall Falls. That's Marshall. That's Marshall. Marshall. Oh, man, a tear almost came down right there. Coach, thank you so much for coming in. Coach yeah. Care Ganesha. Coach Care Giant. Ganesha. And the, he brought he brought some Giants with him. Uh, and respect the process. Guarantee. And then uh, big up to uh, Los Osos and peace to our girl, Shante Wayans. At Ganesha.Football. Follow them on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for listening to IE Sports Network, Coach B, and Eternal. Out there. You're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sportsnet, every Saturday morning, 8 a.m.